What's up everybody? It's Ricky, I'm at the beach, and today I'm gonna give you three tips to mastering the cold call. All right, so now we're in my office in my house. Today I'm gonna be talking about mastering the cold call. Three ways to master the cold call. Um, mastering the cold call takes a lot of time, right? A lot of calls, a lot of practice. I've made over 100,000 calls in my career. So the first thing um, that you have to do to master the phone call, overcome your fears of the cold call, right? Fear of cold calls is absolutely 100% normal. Every single person that has ever made a phone call, a cold call, is scared. They start out afraid, right? There's so much uncertainty going into it. So you're, you're, you're afraid, um, you freeze up, and you just really don't wanna do it. It's very uncomfortable. Couple things. One, anything that makes you uncomfortable is, is helping you grow. So when you feel uncomfortable, you need to be gravitating towards whatever's making you feel uncomfortable because that's getting out of your comfort zone and in turn is going to help you grow and be a better person, a better real estate agent, a better human being, right? The second thing is, is there's stages with cold calls. Um, the first stage is being afraid and not making them. The second stage is, is breaking through that fear and making them but still being very timid and scared. Then you make a couple and you find out it's not as bad as you think. So then you're not that afraid as you were of making the call. So now you're going to go to the next stage, which is, okay, now what do I say exactly, right? And then the next stage is, okay, I'm saying the right things, but I'm not saying it right. So it's like, you know, I know what to say, now how do I say it? And then you just progress higher and higher and higher to more stages. Everything in life and in business is a stage and you have to decide if you want to get stuck in a stage and stay there forever or if you want to progress and just bust through all the stages. So the first thing is overcoming your fear. It's just something you have to do. Everybody had to do it. So the second thing is I want you to learn how to read people over the phone. You'll see when I made my live calls, which I'll, I'll include a link at the end of this video of, of when I made live cold calls. You'll see how I have two questions in the beginning of my phone script that's also available in the description below. Uh, there's two questions that are designed to help you read that person over the phone before you get into the business part of the phone call, right? Want to create a little bit of small talk in the beginning with how are you doing? I'm enjoying the day. Isn't it gorgeous? Something along those lines that breaks up and throws them off a little bit and makes them feel a little more comfortable with, with you calling them, right? Our job is to make them feel comfortable with us. That's our entire job with the cold calls, not to try to sell them on anything. We just wanna get in there and see if there's anything we can do to help them, okay? So we need to learn to read people. Are they happy, sad, mad, glad, in a hurry? What's going on with them? And then you can flow the conversation accordingly to how you read them in the beginning. So the second tip is to read people over the phone. The third tip is, is to be low pressure. Like I said, do not try to sell them on anything. We're there to see what we can do to help them, not to see what they can do to help us, right? Our whole agenda is making them feel comfortable and liking us and trusting us enough to give us that contact information. That email address is what we're after because with the email address, we can do weekly reports, Facebook ads, Instagram ads, all kinds of stuff we can do with the email address. So that's my three tips on mastering the cold call. If you heard something you liked, I'm posting videos every Tuesday and Thursday, so click subscribe and hit the bell so you get notified every time I post a new video. And comment below if you have any questions about cold calls or anything life or business or real estate related. I would love to read them. You guys have a good day.